mostly what I'm hearing is that people are very, very upset. It's a terrible, terrible thing to happen and really angry that um, after such a lot of discussion and warnings about violent crime and antisocial behaviour that there should be such a terrible incident here in this in this park has really upset people. Yeah, you yourself have been insulted close to here, but were you happy with the response by the police and the CPS after, after you yourself were attacked? Not really, no. It was, a, it was a very difficult time. It was 2020 with all the pandemic going on, um, and although we actually arrested the culprit, and, and that was someone who'd been here in the park with big, big loudspeakers, the case actually folded because of a technicality around the dates so that was really really frustrating I mean I don't have a garden myself I come here to the park it's really important to me to have a safe place uh, where families babies children can get the fresh air that they need and come up and enjoy the facilities I mean due to lockdown it somehow the word went out that this is the a place to come and party but it was it was dramatically different and it was the amount of broken glass in the morning the trash the litter and just completely, complete disregard that this was, you know, a neighborhood, uh, the shops along the street were getting their windows broken. There'd be people, but it was, you know, they were different factions and they'd all have their different music blaring. And it was very, uh, it's really more depressing than anything because this has always been a place where everyone could come and gather. Right. They were graffitiing, you know, this beautiful quote from Blake, they were graffitiing, spray painting everything. You know, it was a real problem with public defecation and stuff as well. I mean, it was like they were treating as like a, you know, just like some kind of Neanderthal campground. <laughs> it was wow. really bad. Now that we have social media, there's a huge reputation building up around this park. And because it's always been open 24-7, it's got a name for itself now. And that's really, really unfortunate. My wife feels comfortable walking alone in the streets at night, along kind of like lit, lit areas. She wouldn't walk through this park at night. Do you have a view on the mayor, by the way? Is he, you know, will he get your vote next to that? No. He, he obviously wouldn't get my vote. No, why not? Well, I think his uh, disdain for the Metropolitan Police is quite well uh, documented, and I don't yeah. think he's, I think he's more worried about, about doing the right thing for the, for, you know, to appear to be doing the right thing for, for walk reasons rather than actually doing the right things for the city of London. He needs to kind of pay a little more attention to this kind of youth violence and how to do outreach to youth right. a lot more. You know, when I grew up, was in LA, the Rodney King situation happened and there were the riots and he made a speech and he said, why can't we get along? And I said, why can't we get along? Why, why is it so hard?